Good morning, everybody. So today we are going to do another day of eating. The diet's changed up a little bit. About 20 past six in the morning, as you can see. I've got my little dry robe on. I'm going to go out for a little swim. Kush makes me um, some overnight oats. So she gets some porridge oats, nothing, and then wax them in here. So it's training day today, so I need an easy carb uh, and one protein and some fruit. So I'm going to have my overnight oats, 80 grams dry oats and then 100 grams blueberries which I've just put in there black coffee as well to start the day so that's my easy carb, that's my fruit and then I need um, a protein so I think I'll probably have a yoghurt today actually keep it simple, keep it simple for our next meal we'll talk you through it so I've just had a delivery from uh, Campbell's meat which is all this stuff in here loads of different meats in here but anyway, we'll, we'll go through that after so I'm going to go out for a swim. We got a little bit of a sniffy nose this morning. So hopefully the swim will clear my nose. But yeah, we're going to sit down, eat my first meal, go for a swim, come back, and then I think Tom and I are going to go for our mid-morning sat together. I'm getting tucked into my first meal. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's tasty. I think Kush puts in like chai seeds as well. I make the a vanilla, a couple of vanilla drops from my protein that we drop our things that we use. So it actually tastes really nice. Mm. And a black coffee as well. So. so we have to throw in a cup of kefir, which I believe is like a milk or something, a dairy product something like that. So I got it last night, so I'll have a cup of that maybe when I come back from my swim. Transformation video as well for you. We'll do some photos, see how we're getting on, and then probably do that for the next six weeks because that's our six week block. Basically all this training that you see this week, it will be much and such like this for the next six weeks, but obviously increase weight as we go along. Um, so hopefully we'll see some body changes. I wouldn't look like such a fat mess. I'm gonna be ripped. Face. Um, so that is my first meal. At the moment we're only on five meals a day, so dropping the calories quite a bit. Whereas before we'd be on six meals, we'd have a like a, a pre-bed meal as well. But dinner is our last one, so hopefully we'll, we'll notice a, a change in, in kind of body composition and kind of muscle mass and stuff, or fat mass. Um, so anyway. First meal done, I'm going to go for a swim now and we will see you with Tom for our mid-morning snack. Right guys, today we are doing a full day of eating, myself and Luke. We're going to take you through our day in a life of eating with the strongest brothers in the world. <laughs> strongest. Yes. So my first meal is coffee and I'm going to have eight eggs vegetable which is mushrooms for me today and then toast which is the carbs our diet is really reduced now as you will see once we come throughout the day i think we're on five meals i think luke's on five meals as well and there's a lot of fruit a lot of veg involved there's richly i don't think there's one bit of strict food in the diet today so yeah what, stay tuned. why do you have so many eggs so when, you, when the boss says to eat eggs you eat eggs you know it's like when the, when the teacher says to do a test you do a test so Exactly how I do it. We will see you from your one. So we're here at the Skier restaurant um, just outside Olness. So as you saw, I've had my first meal already. I was up a little bit earlier than Tom for my swim. So meal two for me is uh, six eggs scrambled with mushrooms. And then I'm gonna pick up a bit of fruit when we get to the office. So as Tom says, yeah, it's been reduced quite a lot. We're both on five meals. So yeah, it'll be interesting after six weeks to see who is the most leanest and meanest. I'm excited to see my abs again and to see other things because my belly's so big. How has it affected your energy levels throughout the day as well? I feel uh, 
quite energised actually on this diet. Day to day life, you know, we're in the office a lot of the time, then we're training, then maybe pop back down to the office after, and then we go to the gym to do some hot and cold in the evening. But come the end of the day, I, I feel very tired, but that's because we're very busy at the moment. But uh, mobile and energetic on this diet because it is a little bit reduced when we eat the bigger calorie diets, we feel quite lethargic, quite bloated, quite full all the time, and that it takes away my, my energy. Um, I feel like I need to sleep a lot when I'm a little bit heavier, but at the moment I'm feeling raring to go. We'll see you at meal two. Oh, well, there's eight eggs, mushrooms, and toast. Simples. Mm. So, for my meal two, I've got uh, six eggs, mushrooms, and then I'm going to pick up a bit of fruit on the way back to the office. Starting to feel a little bit lighter on my feet, like a ballerina. Sorry. There you go. Mix it, mix it with that. Mix it that and I'll give you 30 quid. Right. Like 20 quid whole pack. 30 quid, you said. Oh. This is Simon's cream. Yeah. Mate. That's not even a challenge. That's disgusting. See you at the bottom. Oh, it's all going to be. That's 20 quid. Oh. <laughs> Meal one is done. Eight eggs, some mushrooms and toast. Like, look, I'm opposite of look. I suffer in these things. Uh, I like to be full. I like to feel full. And yes, Nathan is punishing us right now, but it's all for the good. It's all for the good. It's fine. So that's meal one done for me. Meal two for me will probably just be a shake and some sort of fruit. I don't know what yet, but I will pick it and I will show you when I eat it. So that will be my second meal as well. Nice and simple. So the first two meals are quite small for me. Meal two was lovely. I could have done with a little bit more. Excited for lunch now. Hopefully Cushy's made me something tasty. I might have a steak or some steak bits, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go and pick up my little bit of fruit on the way back to the office. Hopefully that'll keep me going until lunchtime. So we will see you then. Right guys, second meal of the day is Pink Lady Apple. You know what they say about Pink Ladies. And then a free scooped Whey, impact protein, one of my favourite flavours, chocolate, three scoops in there, and boom, job done. That's the second one, so this is my basically a mid morning snack for me before I train. On a treat. I never ever like not eating, eating and still feeling full. That's one of my hates, you know, going to restaurants and still feeling full. So after the first meal today, obviously I still felt full. This is only a shake and an apple. I can do any protein on the list I want, but because I'm training to next, I'm doing this. So, I mean, it's drastically lower, isn't it? You know what I mean? I've never, this is the lowest I've been on with Nathan, like five meals. So. If I have dinner at 7 p.m. I can't eat after that, so it's really important as well to schedule the meal so you know I'm not eating my breakfast just now till about 10 a.m. so that my my dinner's about 9 p.m. so I can just have dinner and go to sleep. If I'm having dinner at 7 p.m. I'll still feel hungry the rest of the night. So you know it's it's a harder one for me, but I'm still gonna do it. You know, it's gonna keep me up. Keep me healthy, it's gonna get a bit of weight off, it's gonna, you know, there's no sugar in this diet really, so it's gonna be really good for the immune system, really good for the kind of just the inside of my body as well. So get flush out all the bad stuff, all the toxins, and uh, restart again. You know, I'm not, this isn't about losing, losing, losing weight, <laughs> it's about being healthy and stuff. Um, I'll probably drop maybe five, six K straight away, obviously, with the water weight from Worlds, with the kind of unwanted weight that I had on between all the comps there. But I'll probably be down to maybe 180 right now and I'll probably keep that weight until maybe December time and then I go back up. But, you know, I get a few cheat meals on a weekend, but during a week, it's going to be basically what you see on the camera here is what we're going to eat Monday to Friday. Maybe f Saturday night, Sunday, maybe a cheat meal here and there, but there won't be any cheat days for a while. There won't be any cheat meals through the week before the training and stuff. So yeah, it's going to be intense, but I'm not one to moan. I know it works, you know, since I've been with Nathan 
obviously on the nutrition side I've won a lot of competitions, broke a lot of records, so I moan a lot to him, which he knows, I, some, some of the stuff I say on WhatsApp to him is pretty mental, but I know it works and I trust him and uh, we're doing this for the better. The off seasons where the comp, comp season is won or lost, you know the last few off seasons I've kind of been, you know, drinking a lot, not really doing my diet, not really just staying on to it, you know, and this year I've kind of changed my mindset and like, right, as soon as Rogue was finished, I needed to knuckle down. You know, it's really hard for me because I don't have any competitions the rest of the year, so I want to go off track. I want to have an extra cheat meal. I don't want to train, but I know that in the long run, this is going to pay off for me. So if I can get my, if I can get my off season the best season, best it's been, no one's going to beat me. Let's go. So lunchtime guys, we have got risotto, we have got 300 grams of chicken, 400 grams of rice, mixed in with veg and some cranberry juice, I cannot wait. We just worked out obviously, so this is our post-workout meal, so for me it's 260 grams of steak mince with 300 grams of potatoes and about 200 grams of veg as well, so a little bit less than Big Tommy's, but hopefully it's just as tasty. <coughs> Finished. I could have ate more, maybe. Uh, but no, I think that was a decent amount. It'll keep me going for a couple of hours. So that was meal three. Next up, we are... We've only got two more meals left today, oh, boys. Interrupted me again there. Sorry, but I'm just saying, usually this would only be so half. Next up, we have... Uh... <laughs> what are you going to say? What meal is up next, Tom? What have you got? Four. It's a mid-afternoon start, but I don't know if it's protein and carb or protein and fruit, I forgot. I think it might be a carb, so I will check. And when I'm eating, you will see. Do you guys get hungry? Yes. yes. I'm hungry right now. I normally get it, but Kush normally gets the brunt of it. Um, sorry, Kush. I'm a nice chilled out man. So the result I had today was homemade by Shred. I I want to try and eat more chicken again uh, when I'm on the off season, but I don't like chicken by itself anymore. I hate it when it's not mixed in anymore. Chicken rice I got put off, so I have it with carnation chicken, risotto, and I just have chimps have chicken curry. So as long as it's got that kind of sauce in it, I can eat it. Um, so I'm going to try and stay away from the red meat on off season and try and get lots of white stuff in me. So <laughs> that didn't sound good. All the food today um, is prepped by my lovely wife Cushy, um, thank you very much. So Cush, it's nice and easy for me, mints, I can easily easily digest mints, so that's why I prefer that when I'm when I'm eating kind of the bulkier foods. Um, so Cush makes that up, just some potatoes and veg, dead simple, dead basic. Um, that's usually my go-to. We've um, got some turkey mints as well, so much and such the same as Tom. Um, try to substitute some of the red meat out for the the kind of lower cholesterol, I guess, turkey meat. Um, it's a little bit more cleaner, so um, probably from next week I'll throw that into the mix of things, see how that goes, and uh, yeah, easy easy. Just it's only five meals, so probably be hungry by this evening. So guys, last meal of the night, oh, is steak burgers, potatoes, cabbage, and I'm gonna pour some gravy on it this time, don't usually have it but let's change it up tonight. So this is dinner time, well say it's half eight at night so this is my last meal. Gonna go chill out, but well, I think Sinead's having pork and chorizo burgers and potatoes so I'm just gonna chill out, eat this and boom. Wow, I'm uh, a quarter of the way done. This is banging, all of it's been cooked by Sinead. She's having. Not Wait, where's she coming? Um, it's not really a chance. Beef, I think, pork, chorizo, cabbage stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is great. Last meal of the night is over. Let the plate clean. That was unbelievable. Steak burgers, cabbage, 
300 gram steak burgers, handful of cabbage, 400 grams of potato in my belly. And we're going to go to bed. Good night. Good evening. Um, so on to my last meal of the night, which, as we can see it, is this here. So we have 260 grams of mince, 300 grams of uh, potatoes and some homemade coleslaw, so carrots and some cabbage. So this stuff, it's mint sauce used in the UK for lamb. So lamb and mint sauce. One of my favourite things to add to meat, especially when we don't have much sauce on or anything. So, um, just finished up doing hot and cold with Tom. So this is our Thursday. So this is a a squat day. Not that it makes much of a difference what it is, what day it is. We tend to have the same diet for most meals. Kefir. This has been added to the diet part of my probiotics so oh, I've never had it before so I don't know what the texture is like it's very creamy mm, bitter it's okay though I think I'll have that after my food the time is now um, just after seven o'clock so um, this will be my last meal like I said before bed so I'm usually at the bed of about nine-ish or so, so hopefully get a good sleep, so we'll see how it goes. <sighs> to dinner. <sighs> Finished. our day, excuse me, on our new diet from Nathan, uh, Nathan Payton, Pro Body Coach, that is our new diet, so not a huge amount um, compared to what we were eating before, but again we have to kind of, you know, let everything reset, take a little bit of a break as well, you know, so if we're eating a lot of food then our body's working harder as well to digest all that food, so um, at the moment that's the time that we can, or now's the time we can do it, so yeah. Five meals, however many calories, I don't know. Um, but feeling good, feeling nice and full. Um, gonna go up and chill for a couple of hours and then get off to bed. So, yeah, um, that'll be that. Tomorrow is events day, so hopefully, feeling nice and fueled for that. And we will see you on the next video. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for buying all the merchandise, all the comments, all the likes. All the subscribe, subscribers means an awful lot. So thank you very much, guys, from the bottom of my heart. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. Anyway, um, and always... Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. Don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding.